peace be to you. Every Muslim believed that Abraham also known as Ibrahim performed pilgrimage to Mecca city in his lifetime. How to prove that Ibrahim never set foot in Mecca city? This is crucial to destroy the ideology of Islam, since one of the five pillars of Islam is to perform a Hajj pilgrimage at least once in the lifetime of every Muslim. I will prove that Abraham also known as Ibrahim never set foot in Mecca city, by these four ways. 1. To establish that Mecca town did not exist at the time of Abraham. 2. To establish that Mecca as only mentioned once in the Quran 396 is not located in Saudi Arabia, 3. To establish that Muhammad was not from the race of Ibrahim and no scripture was given to build the Karabah before him, 4. To establish that God appointed Abraham to travel and stay within the limits of his will, which did not include Saudi Arabia. In order to establish that Mecca town was not founded in the lifetime of Ibrahim, I shall apply five types of evidence. It includes scriptural evidence, archaeological evidence, testimonial evidence, analogical evidence and historical evidence. I shall give it an acronym, as SATAH principle of rationalization. 1. Scriptural evidence is based on the ancient scriptures, which speak of the city concerned, its people and culture at the earliest known time. However, the scriptures written before year 180 do not mention about the existence of a town called Mecca except for the peninsula called Arabia with many kings. 2. Archaeological evidence is based on the study of ancient coins, ancient buildings, tombstones, pottery, manuscripts, skeletons and whatever objects left behind by the earlier civilization in a particular place. Archaeologists are experts in this field. There is no archaeological finding in Mecca to support the notion that the city is older than Petra city in the former Nabatine kingdom present-day Jordan. 3. Testimonial evidence is based on eyewitness account of the event, which occurs in the lifetime of the person who gives the account. Lawyers always adopt this method in order to win the case in court. If Mecca was an ancient city, there must be some eyewitnesses account on prophets who performed the pilgrimage. Non-eyewitness account is weightless. No reliable two eyewitnesses have been mentioned in the Quran, that Abraham and Ishmael went to Mecca town, which was non-existence in their lifetime. 4. Analogical evidence is the information or facts, that are derived from the comparison of certain similarities between two or more things or places. For example, property valuers and realtors are employing this method, in order to determine the value of a house in the same locality. By analogy, Petra city is mentioned in Strabo's geography written around 22 AD, whereas Mecca city is not mentioned even once in the Hebrew book and also not in any books in the world, written before year 300 AD. 5. Historical evidence is based on the past events or persons that can be verified to a reasonable standard of certainty. An example of historical evidence is a document like the Declaration of Independence. Strabo's Geography of the Middle East, written around 22 AD is also considered a historical testament about the climatic condition, culture, religion and the few villages and cities in Arabia. Strabo the historian and geographer documented Adelius Gallus' expedition from Egypt to Yemen between 26 and 24 before Common Era. The expedition comprised of about 10,000 Roman soldiers started off by sea at Arsino, and landed at Lucum in the northern Arabian Peninsula. Then 1,000 Nab 18 soldiers and 500 Jewish soldiers joined the overland expedition to explore the Frankincense route to Arabia of Felix modern-day Yemen. They encountered no enemy for the first 80 days by overland journey from Lucum until Najran city near Yemeni border. But countless of Roman soldiers died along the way. Do you know why? Based on the description of Strabo, the twelve villages and cities, as mentioned by him are carefully marked on the Arabian Peninsula with the help of Google Earth, which provides the contours of the mountain ranges. In fact, there is a bottleneck at the Sirat mountain ranges in the valley of Mecca, which directs the caravans to travel in between the valley. None can miss Mecca town, if it had been founded in 25, before Christ, since the Romans marched along the mountain cliff and could see the valley below where Mecca town was later founded.
If Mecca town had existed halfway between Madain Saleh and Najran city, the natives would have revealed the oasis water and the countless death caused by excessive dehydration in mouth and legs diseases could be mitigated. Mecca town was never mentioned in the geography of Strabo written at the time of neutrality, when Christianity and Islam had not yet begun. No one should question the professionalism of Strabo, as a great geographer and historian of his time. At least two other historians also wrote about Elias Gallus' expedition. The first historian was Pliny the Elder born in year 23 and another historian was called Cassius Dio born around year 164 AD. Another important piece of historical document is the marine handbook called Ripless of the Erythraean Sea. It is believed to be written by a sailor in the first century in Brina Seaport located across the Red Sea, opposite Yanbu Port. Brina Seaport is only 285 nautical miles or 527 kilometers away from Jeddah Seaport. Mariners in the ancient world around year 60 know about this particular marine handbook. Surprisingly, Jeddah Seaport located barely 70 kilometers from Mecca was nowhere mentioned by the Periplus of the Erythrene Sea. This particular fact is of paramount importance, as a town or city is often supported by a trading seaport. As you can see from the historical map of the sea routes described by the Periplus Handbook, there was no seaport near the place where Mecca town was formed later. Could a sailor in Brinus writing the Periplus Handbook miss out Jeddah seaport and Mecca town? It is useful to provide an analogical view as the cities and seaports often coexist on the Arabian Peninsula. Claudius Ptolemy born around 85, died 165 AD, was a mathematician, astronomer and geographer. He drew the map of Arabia with coordinates for each town and city. It shows Lathrippa, believed to be Medina is directly 338.7 kilometers north of Mecca. But the longitude of Makaraba is at least 2 degree east of Medina. Logically Makaraba was not the Mecca town. The older Taif city located southeast of Mecca was closer to the given location as Makaraba. Today Strabo's book of geography is the best testament that Mecca town did not exist in his lifetime. The Periplus of the Erythrean Sea, Ptolemy's map of Arabia dated 165 AD irrefutable evidence that Mecca town did not exist prior to 165 AD. SATAH principle of rationalization is a powerful method to eliminate the fables of men. Mecca town was not founded by Abraham or Ibrahim and Ishmael or Ismail, who lived around 2000, before Christ they never set foot in Saudi Arabia. There are only two verses in the entire Quran, which mention about Mecca and Becca. One is regarding the conquest of Mecca by Muhammad without fighting, and another time about Abraham performed prayer at Becca, the first holy place of worship. Quran 48.24 says, And he it is, who had withheld men's hands from you, and had withheld your hands from them, in the valley of Mecca, after he had made you victors over them. Allah is seer of what ye do. Quran 396-97 reads, Lo! The first sanctuary appointed for mankind was that at Becca, a blessed place, a guidance to the peoples, wherein are plain memorials, the place, where Abraham stood up to pray, and whosoever enters it is safe. And pilgrimage to the house is a duty unto Allah for mankind, for him who can find a way thither. As for the him who disbelieves, lo! Allah is independent of all creatures. Psalms 84 6-7 reads, Who passing through the valley of Baca make it a well, the rain also fills the pools. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appears before Elohim. The scripture of the Psalms is crystal clear, that the valley of Baca is located in Israel, as it says every one of them in Zion present day Jerusalem city appears before God. So Abraham was praying in Jerusalem and not in Mecca town in Saudi Arabia, which was unknown to him in his lifetime. Quran 34 verse 44 quote And we have given them no scriptures which they study nor send we unto them, before thee, any warner." Unquote pictorial translation. Muhammad's forefathers were without scripture, whereas Abraham was given scripture by Yahweh God of Israel. 
The most logical explanation for Quran 34 verse 44 is that this chapter of Saba or Sabians is about the forefathers of Muhammad are the Sabians, whose kingdom was founded at southern part of Arabia called Yemen today. So Muhammad was a Sabian from Yemen from the stock of Ka'adan, or Joktan, as mentioned in Genesis 10.25. Quran has refuted the false claims that Muhammad's forefathers are Abraham and Ishmael. Quran 32 verse 3 reads, Or say they, He has invented it? Nay, but it is the truth from thy Lord, that thou may warn a folk to, whom the warner came before thee, that haply they may walk aright. Unquote Muhammad's forefathers were Karabai idolaters, as no scripture was sent to them to guide them. Quran 36 verse 5 to 6 reads, A revelation of the mighty, the merciful, that thou may warn a folk, whose fathers were not warned, so they are heedless. Unquote Pictorial Translation. Quran 11 verse 49 reads, This is of the tidings of the unseen, which we inspire in thee Muhammad. Thou thyself knew it not, nor did thy folk know it before this. Unquote. Pictorial Translation. The forefathers of Muhammad were without any scripture. So the aforementioned four verses of the Quran are sufficient to remove all doubts, that the city of Mecca did not appear by the command of God. According to Dr. Rafat Amari, author of the book titled Islam in the Light of History, a Himyarite leader named Abakar Basad also called Toba, built the first Karaba house of idolatry in Mecca. Abakar reigned in Yemen between 410 and 435 AD. It is a grave sin to mislead others that a Karaba idolater be called a prophet, because this honorific title was exclusively used by prophets from the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob except for Ishmael. But Muhammad was from the bloodline of Yoktan, who was not given any scripture by God Almighty. Quran 2 136 say, We believe in Allah and, that which is revealed unto us and that which was revealed unto Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac, and Jacob, and the tribes, and that which Moses and Jesus received, and that which the prophets received from their Lord. Unquote. Pictal Translation None of the aforementioned prophets have traveled to Mecca in Saudi Arabia, in their lifetime. That Karab idolater did not know about Abraham. He also did not know about the honorific title of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ of Israel said, I am the Son of God, as he explained that his Father God Almighty accorded him such title in John 10.36. The law in this scripture cannot be broken based on Jesus' word in John 10.34-35. Quran 9.30 says, The Jews call Lozair a son of Allah, and the Christians call Christ the son of Allah. That is a saying from their mouth, in this they but imitate what the unbelievers of old used to say. Allah's curse be on them, how they are deluded away from the truth Yusuf Ali translation. Muhammad had broken the law by disputing that Jesus Christ is not the son of God. It was the will of God Almighty to accord Jesus with the aforesaid honorific title before he came down from heaven. Psalms 2 4-7 was spoken by the Spirit of Christ through prophet and King David. Psalms 2 4-5 says, He that sits in the heavens shall laugh, Yahweh shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Psalms 2 6-7, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion, I will declare the decree, Yahweh has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. The above Psalms 2 4-7 was not referring to King David, because he did not set himself as king of Israel. He was first anointed as king of Judah and then as king of Israel, by the elders of Judah and Israel, not by his self-proclamation. 2 Samuel 2 4 reads, And the men of Judah came, and there they anointed David king over the house of Judah. 2 Samuel 5 3 So all the elders of Israel came to the king to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before Yahweh, and they anointed David king over Israel. Unquote. Mecca was originally a pagan town and the Karaba was a pagan temple for the housing about 360 Arabian idols including Alat, Alutza and Manat. Even Petra city in the Nabe 18 kingdom present day Jordan is older than Mecca city. If Mecca town had been founded earlier than Petra city, then why the historian and geographer called Strabo did not mention Mecca even once in his book of geography?
Strabo mentioned Petra City and many other cities located at Arabia Felix present-day Yemen but not Mecca town. Strabo's geography dated 22 AD Book 16, Chapter 4, Section 21. He described in this manner, the first people above Syria, who dwell in Arabia Felix are the Nabateans and the Sabines. They overran Syria, before they became subject to the Romans, but at present both they and the Syrians are subject to the Romans. The metropolis of the Nabateans is Petra, as it is called, for it lies on a site, which is otherwise smooth and level, but it is fortified all round by a rock, the outside parts of the site being precipitous and sheer, and the inside parts having springs in abundance, both for domestic purposes and for watering gardens. Unquote. In the Nabateen tradition, Alitza was the goddess of the most mighty. The chief goddesses of the Nabateen pantheon were Alutza, Alat, and Manawat. Traders in Mecca traveled along the frankincense trade route to Syria for trading were exposed to the pagan gods and goddesses in Petra. The Meccan tribal chiefs knew that Muhammad made his god by his appointment of one god, as head over all gods whom he called Allah, Quran 38.5 says, has he made the gods all into one Allah? Truly this is a wonderful thing. Quote Yusuf Ali translation. In conclusion, we have the Quran, which supports the following points, 1. The forefathers of Muhammad were not given any scripture and no prophet was sent to them via Quran 34.44. 32 3, 36 6 and 11 49. 2. The forefathers of Muhammad worshipped Allah, Alat, Alutza and Manat vide Quran 53 19 to 23, which are male god and female goddesses. 3. Muhammad cursed the Arab Christians in Mecca, as they said Jesus is the son of Allah in Quran 9 30 which implies, that Christians have prior use of Allah. 4. Abraham and Ishmael were not the forefathers of Muhammad, since Abraham was given the scripture of God, whereas the Arabs were without any scripture and one revived Quran 34-44. Hence Muhammad should be from the race of Joktan, who produced the race of Sabian Arabs. 5. Mecca town in Saudi Arabia and the Becca house of worship by Abraham were two places in history, since Quran 34-44 refutes the false claim of Muslims, that Mecca is a transliteration of Mecca. Quran 16:103 says, And we know well that they say, Only a man teaches him. The speech of him at whom they falsely hint is outlandish, and this is clear Arabic speech. Unquote. So Quran says it is clear Arabic speech and not a transliterated speech. Hence Mecca and Mecca are two different places altogether. Petra city was mentioned by Strabo in his geography, is more ancient than Mecca town, which was not founded in his time. The author of Periplus of the Erythrean Sea, is believed to live at Brinas in Egypt opposite Western Arabia. He would not have missed it since he was a sailor himself, and knew the Petra city in the north of Arabia and Sabbath city in the south of Arabia. God will not pardon faithless people, who rejects the works of historians and geographers, who are used by him. Mecca town definitely did not exist at the time of Strabo. Petra city is located about 138 kilometers from Abraham's Hebron city, whereas Mecca town is located 1,218 kilometers away from Hebron city. The Holy Scripture is very clear that Abraham and Ishmael did not travel nor dwell in Saudi Arabia, because Yahweh God had set limits, as dwelling place for them. Acts 17.26 And of one blood hath he made the whole world of men, to dwell upon the face of all the earth and he hath distinguished the times by his decree, and set the limits of the dwelling of mankind. Unquote. To believe or say something about Abraham, which is not written in the holy scriptures of the Hebrews and of the Christians, such persons have strayed far from the path of truth. Haji pilgrimage to Mecca city is purely an act of idolatry and paganism, that is insulting to Abraham father of the Hebrews. The practice of circumambulation of the cube building was practiced by the stock of the Sabines from Yemen. Saba or Sheba was a son of Joktan younger brother of Peleg via Genesis 10.25. Joktan is the forefather of the Sabian Arabs. In conclusion, Mecca town was not founded at the time of Abraham and Ishmael. Quran 34 verse 44 quote And we have given them those scriptures which they study, nor send we unto them 
before thee, any warner. Unquote pictorial translation. If Abraham had been to Mecca, Muhammad would not say no warner had been sent to his forefathers. I shall thank Muhammad bin Abdul Allah for being very honest to declare that his forefathers did not receive any scripture nor prophet was sent to them before his birth. If Muslims are as honest as Muhammad, then they should not be ashamed to say that Karaba was built by idolaters during the time the scripture had not been given to Muhammad's forefathers. Therefore, Karaba was an idol placed by the descendant of the Sabians for idolatry. Whoever follow the Sabians are idolaters. This message is to help Muslims to get out of idolatry. Muslims should follow Lord Jesus Christ, since he came before Muhammad. It is only logical to listen to Lord Jesus Christ, who is still alive, whereas the dead person cannot save anyone. God Almighty will destroy all idolaters and slanderers against the righteous Abraham, who did not travel to Mecca 1,218 kilometers away from Hebron city. May I ask the Muslims, who know great-grandfather Abraham better, Hebrews or Muslims? Of course, Hebrews know Abraham better because they were given the scripture, since the time of Abrahamic covenant until the new covenant of Jesus Christ. Muhammad was only given the scripture in 610 AD at the earliest, when Quran chapter of Saba 34 verse 44 was recited by him to his scribe. This particular fact in Quran 34 verse 44 is suffice to destroy all claims of the Muslims, since Muhammad confessed through his own mouth that no warner and no scripture were sent to his forefathers. It clearly means Ibrahim and Ismail did not reach Mecca city, the birthplace of Muhammad. The destiny of idolaters, liars and faithless in the earlier scriptures before the Quran will be cast to hellfire for eternity. Revelation 21 verse 8 But the fearful, and the faithless, and sinners, and the unclean, and murderers, and fornicators, and sorcerers, and servers of idols, and all liars, shall have their portion in the lake, which burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Unquote. The Karaba was an idol in Mecca, as it was originally built by the pagan Yemeni Arab called Abu Qurb Asad for idolatry between 410 and 435 AD. It cannot be purified by destroying the idols inside it, since the building was originally intended to house the idols of Alat, al Manat and many other idols during pre-Islamic period. Shalom.